Alright. Morning, Chief. I'm recording again. I understand. It's the uh, attorney's position with the corporation. I, I appreciate it, Chief. Too, I just, uh, just for your benefit, because I know you're stuck in the middle of this. Too well out. Right. To bring contractors on the island. Okay. Okay. But just so you understand, so this is recorded January 12th, 1990, the sure. state assessments. So this is the Gibson Corporation Articles of Amendment. So uh -huh. they amended these many times. This is uh, January 12th. So this is so signed by Charlie. So this is, uh, this is, uh, and I didn't get this at settlement, okay? So I haven't gotten this in settlement property. I had to look this up. So this is a Gibson Corporation. Procedures for approval of demolition, new construction, exterior changes or improvements of property on Gibson Island. Mm -hmm. Background which are provided to each purchaser of property at settlement on the purchase of a house, which always not. No construction or landscaping may be done in the corporation right-of-way, which exists approximately 20 feet from the center of the road, I'm not obviously, mm -hmm. unless approved by the board. Property owners planning to demolish, build, or alter exterior structures, exterior structures, should clarify, review, should, should carefully review the agreement for their particular plot. Now, here's what comes down to operation. The committee treats the review of proposed exterior changes differently depending on the kind of change, okay? But here's the sentence. Repairs that replicate what is already in existence, repainting shutters the same color, or repairing an existing fence, for example, or HVC equipment, something like that, do not require formal approval of the committee. Right. What, okay? what, year, what year is this? That's 1990. That's the only thing they have. Right. So here's it. And again, because we've had conversations, and I understand where you are, so this is the deed and agreement for Plat A. Okay, stamped February 22nd, 2020 by Ashley Seen. Okay, so I went and got this from Ashley Seen, February 26th. Here's what it says. Again, this is stamped. So, motion unanimously adopted by the Board of Directors, Gibson Island Corporation, January 14th, 2004. Gibson Island Corporation and its board abhor all forms of discrimination, recognizing that restrictive covenants which were in place, which were placed in the deed and agreement for Gibson Island more than 75 years ago have long been declared to be void and unenforceable. The corporation and its board desires, as it has in the past, to express by resolution that it does not approve of and would in no circumstances attempt to enforce any such restrictions. So they have this problem against disabled. So then I brought a copy of, Mike, hold that for me. This is, you know. No, 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 but I, I wanted you to say, I, I wanted you to say, yeah, I understand. But again, as, as the state police told you, this is wrong. So Banbury Group Home, this this is the permit set. What does this say, Chief? What's that? Right there. Interior renovations. This is this is the work that's being done. Interior renovations. They can do nothing. It's 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 interior renovations. That's all it is. This is the set. It says here. Jurisdiction in Arnold County. International residential code, scope of project. This project is converting a single family home to a new group home, residential board and care. Can you get your attorney to contact their attorney? I think you have that, uh, Mr. Roswell's number, right? Exactly. <clears throat> what do you think? Um, Can you get them to call them? And my, 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 my attorneys are preparing for court. And I'm doing what the corporation's attorneys advise them to tell me to do to say not to have you come on here. And I know, I mean, you're welcome to call state police again if you want to tell them to come down. And, you know, Go through the whole thing again. Okay, well, you know, I, I'm just, you know, it's their position that they feel that, you know, because these are uh, private roadways that they can dictate that. And that's what the information was given to me. So, so yesterday, yesterday you said, to be clear, you said that you weren't doing this, the police aren't doing this. So this is Sean doing this? What's that? You said yesterday that you, you made very clear to the state trooper, to Trooper Ryan, that you weren't doing, the police weren't doing this. You said it's actually the gate doing this, what you said yesterday. I just want to be clear that... Is it the police or is it Sean? Because I know that I don't no, want to. We're both taking our direction from the corporation president. And that's where. It's but but today from. you are preventing, as opposed no, to just Sean. As, as per the corporation president told me, advised me to do. Same right. thing as yesterday. He's, I'm going on his advice. Well, no, you know, but, but you were very clear. Counsel. You were very clear yesterday that, he was that it was. Advice of counsel. Right, but as as, the, as as the trooper said, counsel can't make this determination. A judge can. I'm just doing what I was asked to do. So. Back up and contacting somebody. Okay. And then, uh, that would have... Well, I, I do mind, Chief, but you know, I appreciate you listening.
We have to go on by boat because they won't let us on any other way. So. Take my shoes off. Get the boat in. Able to avoid him. Load up. Some guys step here, come on. 